Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, please. If TikTok, you have the blueprint. <laughs> All right, so TikTok, something's getting ready to happen. Or TikTok, like, get to something or there's a deadline to something. All right, or literally something about TikTok, like um, the app. Maybe you could have a TikTok account. Let's see. Why is TikTok here for Scorpio? The six wands. Scorpio, it's only 111 on the timer. It's only a matter of time for whoever I'm speaking to, for you to have some sort of success or victory in your life, um, around your career, some sort of project. The tower, this could be coming out of nowhere with the tower here. Some of you, and this TikTok, I literally meant to write like TikTok on the clock, but something about like social media here too. I know it's not spelled like that, um, but if you are on social media or you do have a TikTok, this is very specific. Um, some of you could be going viral out of nowhere. Yeah, eight of wands, things could start taking off really, really quick. Okay approaching goals really fast things just coming in very quickly very unexpectedly here Scorpio so I feel like it's a good tower okay I feel like it's it's just time it's time for you to get the respect that you deserve the flowers that you deserve like it's time for you to receive some sort of good news have some sort of achievement or advancement um in your business in your career the four of wands in reverse. Why is the four of wands in reverse here? The ace of swords and the moon. I feel like there's a need to not overlook your blessings at this time, Scorpio, no matter how small or big you deem it to be, okay? Achieving a milestone is a positive thing, no matter how, again, how small, how big. It is a reason to celebrate. It is a reason to um, be confident in yourself here. Some of you could have cleared out some energies or some people from your life here who may not have had like the best intentions for you, Scorpio. These could have been hidden enemies, people who are being deceptive. They could have try been trying to bring some sort of uh, instability to your foundation or whatever you're building here. Hmm. Mm. Okay. The other message I'm getting here is that whoever was trying to cause an instability in your foundation with the four of wands in reverse here, seems like somebody didn't want you to reach some sort of milestone. Um, whatever foundation you were building, it's like they kind of wanted to see it come crashing down. This could be somebody who was in the shadows, who was in hidden in the dark. Okay. Whoever this person is, TikTok, you know, the same thing that you wished on somebody else, it's only a matter of time before it comes back onto you. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's like a matter of time before this person has instability in their own foundation. I feel like you're having victory over whoever or whatever this is that was happening behind the scenes. <clears throat> There's a lot of prosperity, success, and victory <clears throat> that's coming your way, Scorpio. So, I don't know. Yeah, five of, five, the Five of Swords in reverse. So, somebody upright could have been trying to bully you, trying to steal from you, trying to kind of, um, they could have been trying to humiliate you, doing things to try to sabotage you, cause you failure, um... Spreading gossip, rumors, misrepresenting you. However this was, it's in reverse now. So to me, that lets me know that whoever this bully was, whoever was in this Five of Swords energy is about to go down with whatever foundation that they had, right? Meanwhile, you're crushing it, Scorpio. <laughs> you're crushing it. Things are going to be, are going well for you or are going to be going well. There's good news coming in. I feel like there's an elevation in your status, in the progress of your business, your career, whatever it is that you're doing. Anything else here? Five of Pentacles. Somebody's about to... Scorpio. This is four wands in reverse <clears throat> with the five of pentacles. It feels like somebody. Somebody could be losing a home here. Somebody could be en could end up homeless. If they're not already. Hmm. I'm, when I, somebody wanted you to lose it all here, Scorpio but I feel like you're coming out on top. You're coming out victorious with the six of wands here, judgment. So whoever was trying to do this to you, wished this upon you or whatever it is, judgment is upon them. Judgment is here. Karma. TikTok. Time's up. Why? Because you have the blueprint. Again, somebody could have been trying to steal something from you. Somebody could have been trying to sabotage something for you, doing things in an underhanded way to have one over you to be, to get to the top. But judgment is being called on this individual. <clears throat> could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aries, a Leo, or another Scorpio. The Page of Swords, the Six of Cups. Yeah, death, something is done, something is over with. Judgment and the Page of Swords, whoever this is, they definitely watch you, they spy on you, keep tabs on you. And this is somebody who's having to see, you know, what I'm kind of picking up. It's it's like a source prepares your table in front of your enemies. And I feel like that's the realization, the awakening that this person is having. Source has prepared your table in front of your enemy. And they're having to see that. Oh, Scorpio is not broke. Scorpio is not homeless. Their foundation is not unstable. <clears throat> they still have blessings coming in. They're progressing in life. They could, they're having some sort of recognition, advancement, public recognition. Somebody could be wanting to reach out. I feel like it's a matter of time before somebody reaches out to you here with the judgment and the page of swords. 
something about the next 24 hours could be significant. Maybe there's some sort of epiphany that you have in the next 24 hours, or this person could be contacting you in the next 24 hours. But uh, yeah, I feel like somebody is shocked. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, six of cups here. You know, I'm kind of picking up here. Maybe there was some sort of conversations that you and this person had in the past. Like you could have communicated things to this person about how you were going to be successful or the things you wanted to do to become successful or how you knew that you would end up in a position where, you know, you would be in the six of wands, having that public recognition, having those achievements, you know, you, it's like you, hmm. yeah, I feel like you told somebody something, but like they, I don't know if they, they didn't believe you or there was envy here or somebody was just, I don't know, but I feel like somebody's replaying something that was said in the past or something you said in the past about where you would be in the future and somebody's actually seeing it happening. It's going to be an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Capricorn, or another Scorpio. I think I said the other signs here. Queen of Cups. Gemini, Cancer. So this could be a feminine that's watching you here or male or female, somebody who's in their feminine energy, somebody who's in their feelings right now. The seven of cups. I feel like this is somebody who's confused. I mean, why? I don't know, but I feel like they're confused as to <clears throat> how everything that they wished upon you did not happen, how you have the success, how you have the victory. This is somebody who could have uh, played a lot of mind games. This is somebody who could have sent a lot of mixed signals, sold you a dream about something here, Scorpio. Uh, sorry if y'all hear my stomach, okay. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's early in the morning, I gotta go eat something. But anyways, yeah. Uh, heavy Scorpio energy here. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Let's keep it going. You have the blueprint. Why is this here for Scorpio? The King of Cups. Yeah, you King of Cups are King of Cups. Kings are masters of things, okay? They master their element. So you are a master at something with the King of Cups here. You're a master when it comes to your psychic abilities, your intuition. You could be an artist here. Give me a little more. It's like you're meant to be a leader here. Queen of Swords. You're very, <laughs> you're very intelligent, creative. You're confident. You know what you're talking about. Um, you have a very clear mind. You know how to articulate the things that you're wanting, the things that you're wanting to do. You're very clear. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I feel like you... You've told somebody something or maybe people, whatever, in the past. You've told somebody something about how something would play out. The, the Queen of Swords is very perceptive, very intuitive. Um, and somebody's seeing that now. Somebody's having that clarity. It's, it's given a little too late, but okay. I don't know why this is. <laughs> why <laughs> is this coming out? There could be somebody who was interfering, okay, or getting in the way <clears throat> of this person seeing you clearly or seeing things clearly. 
We, I just realized we have the king and the queen of cups here. So king and queen of cups is a love connection. It's deep love. It's two people who have some deep feelings for each other. Um, but your backs are turned to one another. I feel like you continue to move forward in your life here, Scorpio. You did, have done, and are still doing exactly what you said you were going to do. You're very intelligent, emotionally intelligent. Um, you're just cool, calm, and collected, but it's giving this like, don't play with me, get out of my way type of energy. You know who you are. You know you have the blueprint, Scorpio. But I feel like now somebody's seeing that too, but I feel like there was an interference with somebody. Could have been a, with a queen of swords here. Tell me about this queen of swords. They could have, this whoever this queen of swords is, could have been trying to um, either come in between or keep a separation between you and this person. Eight of swords. Yeah, this queen of swords was putting fears, doubts, anxiety into somebody. Or trying to make you seem powerless. This Queen of Swords also knew, knew that you were the blueprint, but I, I feel like they, this is the type of person who was telling someone false things about you in order to keep them away from you. This could have also been, this Queen of Swords could have also been somebody who was saying things in order to put you into some sort of fear or anxiety or a state of like feeling stuck, bound, mentally imprisoned. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. The King of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody who's jealous in competition with you. They could have married somebody for money here. Or they marry people for money or they themselves could be stuck in some sort of marriage or relationship. I don't know. I just, with the high priestess and the knight of pentacles, I feel like you knew, you knew somebody was trying to interfere or come in between this, or maybe talking smack about you, trying to keep someone in this state of like being too fearful to come towards you, or I don't know. I feel like you just continue to move forward with the knight of pentacles, slow and steady, you know, wins the race, but you went and started moving forward here, Scorpio, clearing out your energy, four of swords, moving towards some sort of new opportunity with the page of pentacles. Three of Cups, making new friends, going out, celebrating, and releasing this past Ten of Swords, this past pain. Tell me about this King of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, you see this King of Cups is having some sort of a, a clarity. They're seeing through whatever lies or illusions that this Queen of Swords was speaking interesting i don't have the seven of swords here but <clears throat> what else here the nine of cups scorpio wishes coming true material success abundance you have the blueprint to this stuff <laughs> The Tower and the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Whatever somebody was saying about you, it's backfiring. 
it's blowing up in their face or it's about to with the tower card here aries scorpio energy ace of wands virgo leo cancer something's about to blow up in this person's face or who, the devil <laughs> okay king of swords the moon the, the seven of wands So now we have the king and the queen of swords here. There could have been two toxic individuals doing something here. A feminine energy and a masculine energy, a queen of swords and a king of swords, both toxic. King of swords, pff, this king of swords could be pretty... Uh, with the devil here and the moon, they could be very shady, abusive, mentally, verbally abusive. I feel like this is somebody you've had to stand your ground with. I don't know. I just feel like there's a couple interferences, but whatever misconceptions, whatever somebody was trying to say about you or misconstrue about you, I feel like that's about to backfire. It's it's about to blow up in their face here, Scorpio, because somebody's having a sudden epiphany about you or a situation. The tower is coming down. An ace of wands. Here's a new passionate beginning, Scorpio. <laughs> the chariot. There, there's that breakthrough. You could have cancer in your chart. Two of cups page of cups somebody justice somebody's gonna i feel like this person's gonna be wanting to come in scorpio to apologize make amends make something right with you here you could be dealing with um libra scorpio sagittarius cancer yeah six of swords somebody wants to move towards calmer waters heal things with the star card here because this person is having some sort of epiphany or awakening about the fact that you you are it. You are the one. You are the one with the sauce. You're the one. You have the blueprint. <laughs> it was just a matter of time before it was seen. Before this person had an epiphany, an awakening, before they woke up from whatever delusions, illusions that somebody was trying to cast over them. There's a lot going on here, Scorpio. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but one thing's for certain, you have the blueprint, okay? Let's get some extra messages here. Yeah, I just feel like whoever this queen of swords is was trying to, whatever it is that they were saying, they were trying to keep a king of cups away from you or trying to cause some sort of interference or blockage. And I feel like whatever it is that they were saying, about you it was like oh scorpio's weak scorpio's this scorpio's you know never gonna do this or that or it's just manipulation <sighs> but somebody's seen right through this manipulation travel could be significant you could be traveling at this time but i feel like you're having a breakthrough in your life in your career or whatever it is that you may be doing or you're about to have this breakthrough. That's why the Six of Wands TikTok. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Extra message here for Scorpios, please. Stellar gateway activation. Infinite potential manifestation vortex. At the bottom of the deck is Arcturian, Arcturian light codes. Evolutionary downloads. Recalling power. Future thinking. Yeah, I feel like you're very ahead of your time here, Scorpio. You, very, you could be connected to Arcturians. Um, star seeds, extraterrestrials, things like that. But you are very advanced. You oh, you are very um like innovative, but future thinking here. You're always ten steps ahead of the game. So you might even be years ahead of the game here, Scorpio. All right. Like I said, it's like you told somebody. You could have told somebody two three years ago yeah this is in two three years this is where i'm gonna be this is what i'm gonna be doing uh, i'm gonna have 
you know, this much uh, uh, success or whatever. I'm going to be living here. I'm going to be going there. And I feel like you are living out those dreams. Those dreams are coming true. Those wishes are coming true. You're living up to exactly what you said you would do. So now something is backfiring in somebody's face. Don't you love when people doubt you sometimes, Scorpio? <laughs> Just gets the juices flowing a little more. <laughs> the stellar gateway is the highest of our chakras and is found about 12 to 24 feet above our head. It is the energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. It governs our connection to the spiritual laws of creation and the quantum field and holds our life's potential as it holds all the intentions that we set before this incarnation and all the intentions we've set during it that support the ever unfolding path of our earthly experience. Energetically, this portal is beyond time and space. And when we connect with it, we come into alignment with all the aspects of our soul's journey, including when we were part of the cosmos. This card transports us to a stargate that has a giant pyramid within it. <clears throat> Above the stargate, there are three-dimensional images of Thoth, the former priest king of Atlantis, who is one of the ancient masters holding the secrets of the universe. This image is a reminder of our potential and of our ancient and starry connections. The pyramid is a symbol of rising power and of how our soul has existed through lifetimes. The stargate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a, rem a reminder that all things are possible and that with the right alignment, we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven upon earth. You are a master of manifestation. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-actions, and choices is affecting the unfolding of your path. Realize that you have great potential and power within you. And through your focused awareness, you can draw on heavenly support to create the life of your wildest dreams. Know that all the energies you connect with are carried up to your stellar gateway. And if they are aligned with the intentions your soul had before this incarnation, opportunities will come your way. It is important to consider connecting with your cosmic origins at this time and also tracking down the intentions of your soul. If, for if you can bring your wishes in this life together with your pre-life intentions, you can live a life that is aligned with the highest heavens. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. It's important to not let anybody get into your head at this time, Scorpio. But I don't really feel like that's what's happening here. But that might be a message for somebody. Okay, don't let anybody get into your head at this time about what it is that you're trying to do. You have the blueprint. You know what it is that you're doing. You know what the direction that you're going, Scorpio. We have the fool <laughs> falling in my lap. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks. Be adventurous. Number 12, your birthday could be on the 12th, the 21st. You could be 21 years old. Your birthday could be on the 3rd, or you could be a life path 3 as well. Messages for Scorpios, please. We have luck <laughs> and star. You're about to be a lucky star, Scorpio, Okay. Number 19 and number 29, you could be 29 years old, 19 years old. Uh, you could be born on the 19th, the 29th, the 11th, the 10th, the 2nd, the 1st. You could be a life path 1 or 2. It says hard times are over. Look forward for, to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And then look, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Mm. Fool, what is that? Fool, um, fool's gold. Fool's gold is, is significant. I believe that's uh, pyrite. So something about getting pyrite or AKA fool's gold is significant. Something about St. Patty's Day could be significant here as well. Some of you could be Irish. Um, I feel like there's a lucky streak that's coming your way here, Scorpio. Let's see. Your fate is changing because of decisions you've made. You have set a new course and will be luckier than you have ever been for some time, but be decisive. An opportunity to completely reverse your fortunes in personal relationships and finances is likely. There is no place for self-doubt or pessimism. Stability and strength surround the changes now taking place as you are in charge of your circumstances. The key is to have faith and be optimistic. In regards to personal relationships, whether romantic or platonic, luck is all around. Singles could meet someone easier than in the past. Personal relationships will run a little smoother than recently and troublesome situations could be settled once and for all. 
be sure to write out some positive affirmations to help the luck along. In regards to career and money, opportunities for strong career growth will be welcomed. Money wins are not uncommon, to be, so be in it to win it. Take a weekly lotto entry or take part in another game of chance. Have a little flutter. The period is very auspicious with this card selection. You also seem to be at the right place at the right time to snare that certain deal, job, or other opportunity. An ad in the newspaper or online, even office gossip, could lead to a career change. Money-making ideas are also likely with this card, so keep a journal handy. Mm, okay. I'm going to pull a couple. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. All right. I'm going to be pulling from two more decks, and then I'm going to pull some advice to close it out. <clears throat> December 19th could be significant. The number is 1219. Messages for Scorpios, please. We have Rhiannon, the horse goddess. Invoke the goddess Rhiannon to heal grief, loss, disappointment, and to give you closure to move on with your life. Every disappointment is a blessing. There's lessons to be learned to encourage better decision-making in your life, and I feel like that's exactly what you're doing now, Scorpio, making better decisions. Thor, god of thunder. Call upon Thor for protection, have victory over your enemies, abundance, or to overcome any problem in life. Protect what you value most. You can either be a victim of the world or a warrior and become the fighter. And then we have Anuket, the embracer. Invoke the goddess Anuket for an overflow of abundance, blessings, success in life and joy. You will have an overflow of blessings. Okay, Scorpio. So confirmation on the abundance and the blessings that are going to be pouring in. TikTok. And uh, okay, we have Ochosi. I'm hearing... Hold on, let me get it together because the song is playing my head, playing in my head as I'm about to read. I'm hearing that Keisha Cole, Ke not Keisha Cole, that Kesha song. Tick tock on the clock. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we had Ochosi at the bottom, the divine hunter. Ochosi helps you attain your goals, protects you from enemies, injustice, have success in court or any legal issues. Missing the mark is one of the ways you learn to hit your target. Keep focused on the outcome, not the obstacle. Messages for Scorpios, please. Meditate. Quiet the mind and let your soul speak. You have special gifts. Never surrender to normal. Give less fucks. The less you give a fuck, the happier you will be. Self-exploration, peel off the false persona and get to know yourself to find your truth. Hmm. I feel like you've done that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like you know your truth. It's somebody else who has to get to know themselves and find their truth. They've. I feel like somebody's allowed somebody to kind of dictate their life or tell them how to move, tell them how to go, tell them who to talk to. Clear your energy, refuel your energy and reclaim your power. Some of you may need to burn some Palo Santo. We have nutrition. Your body is your temple. Try changing your eating habits. So some of you could be changing your eating habits, um, changing your diet, your lifestyle. But this doesn't just have to be about food. This could be changing your, your habits in regards to, um, I don't know, smoking, drinking, the things you consume, not just, you know, uh, food wise or, or anything like that. This could be the things that you watch, the things that you listen to. I feel like you're, you're changing your lifestyle, your diet in that sense as well. I'm hearing like a spiritual diet. What else here for Scorpios? See the beauty, learn to find the beauty in everything. See the world for all of its aspects and challenge yourself, challenge yourself to do better. Don't set limits on your potential. And at the bottom is just be. Allow yourself to be. You do not have to prove a damn thing. Confidence will flow into you when you are divinely you. Okay. And advice for Scorpios to close it out, please.
We have a number 33 in Sakana, Child of the Light. The number three, uh, 33 could be significant. You could be 33 years old. Your birthday could be on the 6th. You could be a life path 6. There is a divine light that does not cast a shadow, nor does it cast judgment, even though it reveals truth. A truth that is sometimes hard to acknowledge and requires that we change our ways. True divine light is healing. It is unifying. It brings hope and illumines the way. Other sorts of light exist on this planet that are not so pure, nor so helpful. Those sorts of lights may appear stunningly bright, yet in effect create separation and increase ego. You can recognize genuine divine presence, not by how dazzling it may appear at first, but by what your devotion to that divine light evokes in your heart and your world. Trust your feelings over appearances. Move away from influences that create fear, negativity, or doubt in you. Reach out for that which uplifts your heart. Spiritual protection is being offered. Refuse to be dazzled by ego masquerading as something spiritual. Through your prayers and efforts, spiritual light has been accumulating on the inner planes, even though you may not sense that consciously as yet. There will be an intersection of events and circumstances in your physical world through which that light shall pour forth and manifest itself as grace. Continue with your spiritual devotion. There is something truly good to come of it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. It says, in the Incan tradition, Inti is the physical sun and the spiritual presence inherent in the sun's life-giving energy. Intikana is the being who is one with Inti, a child of the sun. In the esoteric mystery schools of the ageless wisdom, solar child and solar angel are terms for the soul, the deeper aspect of us that is connected to the spiritual light. This oracle brings you understanding that there is a new depth of soul connection opening up for you. We enter such a sacred process through a challenge known in spiritual traditions as initiation. When we are faced with a deep unknowing, which is what happens when we are growing spiritually and moving through a spiritual initiation, we have outgrown what our minds are capable of providing. We need more knowledge, more wisdom, more light so that we can find our way through the darkness of initiation and into the blessing of new life waiting on the other side of the process. When we turn our attention to the soul, instead of applying logic and intellect to figure out yet another doomed plan to conquer the irrepressible evolution inherent in the spiritual path, we finally gain comfort. Hope is a quality of the soul. It allows us to bear the uncertainty when, according to a greater wisdom, there is something that we cannot know the answer to, at least for now. Hope gives us patience so that we can learn how to feel our soul connection more deeply and grow into the wisdom of the answers we need. We stop fumbling about in the library of the intellect and instead seek the answer from the source that can provide it, provide it, which is the Illum temple of our own soul. Initiation often involves an element of the unexpected. We typically feel unprepared for it, even though at a soul level, we have been working toward it for a very long time. However, if it's happening, we are ready for it. Such spiritual testing is intimidating to the ego, but the soul knows how to move through the process. Trust your inner self. And trust in the light and the unconditionally supportive assistance that the universe will lend to your purpose. Then you can be fearless and impervious to manipulation and remain steady and faithful in the face of challenge. The solar festival of Inti was a celebration of new life, which was held at the start of a new planting season. Okay, the spring is right around the corner. It is realistic to cultivate hope and cheerfulness, both of which nurture the heart, especially during initiation. This oracle foretells the positive conclusion of a soul initiation. If dark and depressing thoughts have plagued you or a loved one, this oracle brings a spiritual intervention of joyful light. Open up, the jo open up to the joyful light of love and peace to fill your heart and your home. You have the power to call this light in because you're acknowledged as a child of the light. Rest in the divine light within. Imagine that you can peer into your soul and be warmed by the light and life of the inner sun that shines there. This is the true light of the divine. From that place of inner peace, luminous love, and safe refuge, you can proceed with boldness, patience, wisdom, and hope. The oracle asks you to cultivate a sense of self-worth and acknowledge the goodness within you without needing to be perfect. You don't just have light within you. You are the light. Remember, shine. We need you. Okay, Scorpios. Don't let anybody dim your shine, dim your light, and don't do that to yourself either. Okay. All right, Scorpios, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time, bye.